I'm here with my January empties and I have a ton of empties. Last month I didn't have that much and this month it was like I ran out of everything and literally the day after I filmed my December empties I ran out of like four or five things so they are in this. I have this whole bag here full of empties and then I have more things on the side in another bag. So let's go ahead and get into it. So I used up three candles this past month. I used up the pumpkin cupcake and I actually took a break from this um, when it was the fall time. I burned it a ton and then I kind of wanted to get more into my winter scents as winter came and then I went back to it and just kind of burned the rest of it. It's a really nice pumpkin-y sweet smell. It's not too overpowering too. I think the K pumpkin caramel latte, I buy that one every year and then I say, why did I buy this one? It's way too sweet smelling, but this one's a little bit more subtle. So I really do like this one. I would definitely repurchase um, next fall. The other one I went through is the scent in autumn. <laughs> like I said, I did the same thing with this one as I did with that one. I like burned half of it and then I was like, it's winter. I want to smell winter scents now. And then after I kind of burned through some winter scents, I went back to this one and just burned this one up. So I really like this scent. This one's a really, really fresh and clean one. Definitely suggest it. It's one of my favorites for the um, fall time. And then the last one that I went through is the vanilla chai. And I liked this one, but this one burned so fast. Like it was literally a week of burning this, like every single night, a week straight and it was down to there. So um, I like the scent. I love vanilla chai scents. I think they smell really, really nice, but it burned really, really fast. So I don't know if I'd repurchase this one um, just because it burned fast, but it was a really nice Okay, scent. the next thing I went through is the Aveeno Active Naturals. This is a skin relief 24 hour moisturizing lotion. And this is for really extra dry and sensitive and itchy skin. I love this during the winter time. I already purchased another one and I purchased like the bigger size of this um, because I love it that much. It's just a really great lotion. It doesn't really have a scent. It's fragrance free. So it's nice to just kind of lather your body up in something that's fragrance free and then you can top um, your perfume on top of it without it competing with each other. So this is so great for dry skin. If you have dry skin, I definitely suggest it. It's a really, really nice one. Like I said, I've already repurchased and been using it. Right, the next thing I went through is the Olay Ultra Moisture with Shea Butter. This is their body wash and I've already repurchased this and I'm already halfway done with another one. I love this body wash. It smells so good. Good. It smells like just fresh soap. It just smells like fresh soap. There's nothing really fragranced about it. It just smells really, really clean and it is so moisturizing. This is the most moisturizing body wash that I've ever had and my skin's been so dry so it's been really, really helping with putting moisture um, back into my skin even though I'm in the shower. Love this stuff. Absolutely love it. Like I said, already repurchased and my bag just fell over. All right, the next thing that I went through is this Up and Up brand of baby shampoo. And there is like a little bit down here, um, but I'm just going to toss it. I use this to wash my makeup brushes, but now I am using the Dr. Bronner soap, which is so much better. It literally leaves my brushes squeaky, squeaky clean. This didn't make them as clean as I wanted them to. Um, and yeah, I just, the Dr. Bronner's is so much better. So I don't know if I'm going to be repurchasing these anymore. It is really, really cheap, but again, the Dr. Bronner's, I get the solid soap and I wash my brushes with that and it's only $4. So I would rather have really good soap that cleans my brushes really well than getting just something that's really, really cheap and not doing the job as well. I also went through the Nature Made Multi Prenatal Vitamin. If you wanted to know, this is what I've been taking for my prenatals and I'm continuing to use it. I went through a little guy of this Winter Candy Apple Body Lotion and I'm pretty sure I have a bunch more of these in this bag at the bottom but I'm not gonna dig through, but I love this scent. It's just my favorite. I went through a Batiste dry shampoo. This is for dark and deep brown hair. This is my absolute favorite dry shampoo. Cannot live without it. And if you saw my makeup haul a couple 
weeks ago, days ago, I can't remember when I posted it, but um, I already purchased two of them. I found another candle in this bag. Um, I went through the scent Winter, which is my absolute all-time favorite scent. I love this scent in the winter time. Um, it's just, oh my gosh, it's just like Christmas. It just smells like Christmas and winter in a candle. I cannot live without it. Um, I have a ton of the um, wallflowers too, like everywhere. I just love the scent, um, especially around the Christmas time. And I'm really sad I'm done with it because I don't have a backup. Another thing I went through, which I'm really, really depressed about, this is the Lush Celebrate Hand and Body Lotion. This is a limited edition during the holiday time, and I'm so sad because it smells so good. Oh, it just smells like... Oh my god, I just want to eat it. I love this scent. It's so amazing. The actual lotion itself, the formula, is really, really nice. Super, super moisturizing, and I'm just really sad I'm out of it because I won't be able to get it until next holiday. But I will keep this container because if you... I think if you return, yep, five of these little pots, they will give you a free fresh face mask. So that's pretty cool. Okay, hubby edition. I have some hubby products. I never really do this and I think I saw, I saw somebody do this and I really thought it was funny and my husband is very particular about products and things like that. So I decided to grab his empties and share them with you. Um, the deodorant he uses is the Men Degree Dry Protection. It looks like this. And he seems to really like it. He goes through it very, very fast. This one is in the scent Cool Rush. I don't know. It smells nice. I guess it works well for him because he says he really, really likes it. The other thing he went through is the Head & Shoulders Dry Scalp Care. He really loves Head & Shoulders um, to wash his hair. I don't know why. He doesn't really have dandruff at all, but he just really likes how they work in his hair. And he said this one was kind of like cooling and really, really moisturizing for his hair and it made his hair super fluffy. Like I remember having him come out of the shower and his hair would be, get, you know, get dry and it would be super, super fluffy. So I don't know. He seems to really like it and he's already actually repurchased another of the same kind. The other thing he went through um, and the last thing he went through is the Redkin for Men. This is their molding paste work hard it's like a gel for your hair and he's obsessed with this stuff. He is so obsessed with it. He will not use another gel for his hair. He's so particular and this one's a bit on the pricey side. He's usually cheap and goes like drugstore, but for this stuff he like absolutely cannot live without it and he says that it can hold up in any kind of weather. His hair will look the same throughout the entire day. It doesn't fall. It doesn't lay flat. So he seems to really like it and he keeps repurchasing this over and over and over and he usually buys it at Ulta. Moving back to um, my products, I went through a bath bomb and I went through the, I think it's called the Golden Wonder. I'm not really sure, but it's actually a similar scent to the Celebrate Body Lotion, which I love, obviously, and the two combined are just so amazing. I really like taking Lush baths, I'm not gonna lie. Their bath bombs are really, really nice. Um, you feel kind of moisturized when you come out, and it's just a nice scent, and it's really relaxing, so um, that one is a really, really good one. I think it's my favorite. I am tossing a beauty blender. Um, I actually already have another one in use right here. You can see how much this one has faded and every time I get it wet, it becomes like really oddly shaped. So I think this one is done. The color has completely faded and that's what I hear. That's when I hear it's, it's time to move on to another sponge. So I already have another one. It's kind of dirty actually, um, but obviously you can see the difference between the brightness. So it's time to throw it away. I also really sadly went through the Bosha Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. This is amazing stuff. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is my absolute favorite cleansing oil. Um, I haven't repurchased it yet because I actually purchased the First Aid Beauty Milk 
conditioning cleanser, I think. I don't know. It's a new cleansing oil that they came out with and I really wanted to try it. Um, but if that one doesn't work out for me, I'm definitely going back to this one because it is so, so good. It's so easy. You literally can put like one to maybe two pumps and get your whole face just melted off. Um, it just breaks down makeup so easily and I don't have to like sit there and rub forever. So love this stuff. I will absolutely repurchase in the future. Like I said, I'm just using another one right now. Went through another soap. Um, obviously, I didn't put these in order. I'm literally just grabbing all of these out of a bag. But this is the Winter Foaming Hand Soap from Bath & Body Works. I love this soap. I am so mad. I only bought one. I only bought one. Why wouldn't I buy, like, one of these? I should have bought 20 of these. I love the scent. Winter is just seriously the best scent ever. I love it. Here we go with other winter candy apple scents. I went through a little shower gel and the Ultra Shea body cream. I love this body cream. It's way better than that body lotion. The body lotion is super thin and watery and doesn't really hydrate your body very well. This stuff actually really hydrates your skin and leaves you smelling so, so good because the scent is amazing. But I'm over the scent now because I'm trying to move on into spring and this always reminds me of like Christmas time and the winter and I'm like I can't smell you anymore because you are done Christmas is over we're all depressed it's time to move on I went through another one of my suave professionals this is the shine conditioner I love this stuff will always repurchase I think I have like two more backups in my um, shower right now or in my stash of stuff um, I love this stuff it's Seriously the best. You're probably sick of me talking about it, but it's seriously the best shampoo and conditioner ever. I went through a Clarisonic head and I don't know which one this is. It has like the gray here and here. I'll show you what it looks like. It's like that and that. And I had this one for a really long time, way past the three months that they suggest you use it and then toss it. Um, so it's time to go and I've already repurchased. I think I repurchased the sensitive head and I've been really liking that one. Can't have an empties without one of these. These are the um, Up and Up brand cleansing toi toilets, towelettes. Um, these are just really good makeup remover um, towels or cloths and they're my favorite. I love the blue kind. I always repurchase. I already have another one that I'm using and actually I'm almost out of that one so I need to go repurchase another one. Also went through this little guy and the top broke off of, it was like a cute little top with like a little button and a dropper and everything, um, but that broke off. This is the Tarte Pure Maracuja Oil and I really enjoyed this. I actually really liked it under my eyes and all over my skin at night as like a really deep um, hydrating moisturizer oil, um, but I really loved this. I would definitely think about purchasing the full size. I don't know if I love it that much. Um, it's definitely a drier oil than compared to a lot of oils that I've tried. It's definitely a drier one, which I do like, but these are really expensive. The full sizes are really expensive, but I love the Tarte Pure Maracuja Oil. It's really, really good. The next thing I went through is the Soap and Glory Hand Food. I already have a backup. I'm already almost out of that one. See, I went through everything really, really fast this month and I repurchased everything and then now I'm like out of that stuff so I need to repurchase another one of these I love this I keep it by my bedside and lather up my hands at night and I really love the scent of it I went through the Michael Todd this is their liposome antioxidant moisturizer it has DMAE and hyaluronic acid and I forgot I'm pretty sure it was Miss Lola Lynn who mentioned this and she didn't even use it like once or twice she thought the smell was horrible and she tossed it she smelled it smell she said it smelled just so bad and it honestly doesn't smell like the best thing ever it doesn't smell that bad and I'm very sensitive to scents like scents are like I get really picky about my scents, but this one didn't bother me as much and I really liked it. I thought it was a good moisturizer. It actually really 
moisturize my skin and it sinked in it it didn't leave any like greasy residue on your face like some nighttime moisturizers can so I really did like that about it and I like that it has the hyaluronic acid so I would definitely think about repurchasing it I don't hate the product but I don't think it's the best moisturizer I've ever tried the next thing I went through is the Lamave I believe it's called this is their purify and clean sweet orange foaming cleanser and I really did like this I thought it was a really nice morning um, cleanser to kind of just waken you up it has a nice citrusy scent it's not too overpowering in the scent but it's just enough to kind of just wake you up in the morning so I really liked using this in the morning um, and it cleaned pretty good it was kind of like a generic cleanser and nothing really really special about it but it didn't really dry me out either so I did like it um, I don't know if I'd repurchase it though because I really love my Michael Todd honey and oat cleanser that is just the best cleanser ever okay so the next thing I have to share with you is a sample and I really apologize I'm noticing it's getting pretty dark in here I apologize um, there's like a crazy blizzard going on right now um, and we just got 17 inches like two days ago so now we're getting more snow that's just fantastic um, anyways this is the glam glow mud to foam super cleanser and this is glam glow's new cleanser and um, I got about three uses out of my sample. So out of the three uses, I used it um, a different ways. The first time the lady at Sephora actually said to kind of put it all over your face, over your makeup as a mask, and then kind of work it into your skin and it will break up all your makeup and leave you cleansed. And I tried it that way the first time. And I honestly did not like it. Um, I kind of sat it on my face for about two minutes and rubbed it in. And it kind of foamed up a little bit, but it didn't break down my makeup. I literally still had all my eye makeup on, all my face makeup, um, a little bit of my lipstick too. And I was like, that didn't work very well. So I had to go in with a cleanser after it. But the second and third time I tried it, I actually removed my makeup. Then I put it on my skin and rubbed it in. Um, with some water and kind of had it foam up all over my face kind of let it sit like that and then rinsed it off and it was really really nice it's a very like cooling awakening cleanser I actually think this would be best in the morning because it's very just like kind of wakes your skin up and pulls all the crap out of your skin so I did like it I don't know if I'm gonna go go purchase it I don't think it's worth the $39, but it was a nice sample to try. Speaking of Glam Glow, sadly enough, I went through my Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment and I'm really depressed about this, but it was a really, really, really awesome mask. I do prefer the Tingle Exfoliate one. Um, I actually have a little guy of that right now and I used it the other night and I realized how much more I love that one than this one. This one is really nice and it pulls everything out and but the thing is this leaves me a little bit dry. The other one just my skin responds to it so well and it literally it tingles and it kind of hurts my skin but then once I get through that and I kind of rub it into my skin and the exfoliating beads kind of just rub into my skin my skin is left good for days afterwards I noticed not even just like that night and into the next morning it's left really soft and really nice for days so I actually prefer that one over this one um, but I did love this one it's a really good one if you are needing some like gunkage pullage out of your skin it's really good okay so the next thing I went through is really really depressing and this is the Jean Paul Gaultier um, perfume this is the original, I believe. I think he has like a bunch of other ones, but this is the original. I actually wore this perfume on my wedding day, so it's really, really depressing that I'm out of it. But I knew I needed to use it up because I didn't want it to go bad or like turn. So I just used it up, but it smells so good. It's a very, very strong perfume and it has, it's like a bit not musky but a very strong like vanilla amber scent to it. I 
love this perfume. It's probably one of my top perfumes of all time and I'm so sad I'm out of it. But one day I will repurchase because it was the scent I wore on my wedding day. So I will repurchase you one day. Okay, and last but not least, I went through the NYX HD Concealer in Light. I actually went through this the day after I filmed my December empties, I ran out of this. So I'm really depressed I ran out of it. I haven't repurchased it yet because I purchased some other concealers that I've been trying out. If you've been watching my videos, you would, you know which ones I've been trying. Um, but I will definitely repurchase this one in the future. It's just a really great affordable concealer and it's super opaque and it's not drying or cakey. It's just a really, really nice one. So I'll definitely repurchase it in the future, but I'm happy with my new concealers. So I will, I'll pick this one up in the future. Okay, you guys, so that is it for my empties. Holy moly, that was a big empties, but I'm really happy. Now I can throw all this stuff in the trash and get rid of it and make room for more empties. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.